interesting MABA tips and facts. Exercise increase the number of endorphins that are released in your body and increase productivity. Hello and welcome to week two, day two. For today, you will need the incline box, the stepper or chair and foam roller. You will have nine exercises and it will take you about 25 to 35 minutes to complete them. First, let's warm up. Follow only one of the six warm-up routines and do it for 60 seconds. That is 10 seconds. That is 20 seconds. That is 30 seconds. That is 40 seconds. That is 50 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's get ready for exercise number one, calf stretch using calf stretch box. Just keep in mind, it's going to be three different positions. Before we go in, into the position, adjust the angle box approximately 30 to 45 degree. Okay, let's get in position number one. Stand on the front of the calf box, feet facing forward, neutral spine, core muscle engage, shoulder back and down. Right foot, place it on the angle box, heel is on the ground, feet, it's flat and facing forward, it's not out nor in. You can place your hands on the wall for support and lean forward. Now we're going to do position number two. With your left foot, step out in an angle approximately two feet from your right. Right foot, heel is in the ground, foot is a flat, is not out nor in, and facing forward, is not an angle. Right knee is a straight, and my right leg is an angle. You can bend your left knee, you can place your hands on the wall for support, lean forward. Now we're going to move position number three. With your left foot, move across your right and behind as far as you can go. Your right foot is a flat, heels in the ground and facing forward. It's not out. And knee is a straight as much as you can and keep your hip facing forward as much as you can. Lean forward. Now we're going to move to position number one. And now we are ready. We will do one set, 20 seconds each. Okay, let's do the calf stretch. Position yourself correctly, stand in the front of the box, place your right foot, heel is in the ground, feet is a flat and facing straight forward. You can use your hands for support, you're just gonna lean forward, you're gonna hold it 20 seconds. Now, just, just make sure that you feel the stretch on the back of your calves. Knee is a straight, core muscle engage, and outro spine. All right, now let's move to the left side. Out, again, feet facing forward, and just lean forward, and hold it for 20 seconds now. Make sure the heel is on the ground, and the feet is not out, but it's flat, and feet facing forward. Your left knee can be bent, and you can use your arm and hands for support. All right, that was 20 seconds. Let's move all on the opposite side, which is position number three. Keep your feet flat on the box and just lean forward. 20 seconds now. Just make sure in this position, feet is not out, up, 
Keep your flat on the box, heels in the ground, knee is straight. We are done with this one. Let's move to position number one. And again, lean forward and hold it for 20 seconds now. Knee is straight, heel is in the ground. Keep your core engaged and now choose spine. All right, we're done with the right leg. Let's switch legs. Place your left foot on the incline box. Use your hands for support. Knee straight and lean forward 20 seconds now. Just make sure the heel is in the ground and you feel the stretch on the back of your calf. All right, that was 20 seconds. Let's move to the right. Now we have an angle on your leg. And again, lean forward and hold it 20 seconds now. Just make sure your heel is on the ground. If it is not coming out, keep it flat and feet facing forward. And keep your left knee straight, core muscle engaged. All right, up to 20 seconds. Let's move on the left side. You have a left angle now. And again, lean forward, 20 seconds now. Just keep in mind, check your heel that is in the ground. Feet is a flat and facing forward. So it's not out, nor change the angle. Ah, that was 20 seconds. Come to position number one. And again, just lean forward and hold it for 20 seconds now. Keep your core muscle engaged. Now with your spine, knee is straight, heel is in the ground. And you're gonna feel the stretch on the back of your calf. Okay, that was 20 seconds and we are done. Okay, let's get ready for exercise number two. Hamstring stretch on box. Let's position ourselves correctly. Stand in the front of the box, feet facing forward, neutral spine, core muscle engage. Place your right foot on the box. You can use your hand for balance. Bend your left knee, but still feet facing forward. Right leg, Keep knee straight, foot is facing straight forward, so it's not turned in or out. And hip is forward as well, shoulders back and down. And now we are ready. We will do two sets, 20 seconds each. Okay, now we're going to do hamstring stretch on box. Stand in the front of the box, place your right foot on it. You can use your hand for balance, hip facing forward. You're gonna lean forward and you're gonna hold the position for 20 seconds now, left knee can be slightly unlocked, neutral spine, core muscles engage, both feet facing forward. All right, that was 20 seconds, a few seconds break. And again, engage core muscle and lean for 20 seconds now. Make sure the hip is facing forward and core muscle engage. All right, we are done with the right. Let's do the left, same thing. Place on, core muscles engage and lean forward 20 seconds now. Keep your knees straight. The stretch you're gonna feel on the back of your leg. Your foot is not completely down or completely up. It's right in the middle. All 
All right, that was 20 seconds. And let's do it again. Core muscle engage, lean forward. 20 seconds now. Just check that your hip face, hip is facing forward. Both feet are facing forward as well. Okay, we are done with this exercise. Okay, let's get ready for exercise number three, hip flexor. Let's position ourselves correctly. Place your feet shoulder width apart, natural spine, core muscle engage. Step back with your left leg, keep your knees slightly bent, foot is 90 degree, heels is straight up, is not out nor in hip facing forward right leg knee is above your heel and now we are ready we will do three sets 20 seconds each okay let's do the flexor stretch fit shoulder apart natural spine core muscle engage step back knee is above your heel and you're gonna lean forward and you're gonna hold the position for 20 seconds now just make sure the spine is a natural position and core muscle engage. Your left heel it's straight up. It's not in or out. Come straight at 90 degree. All right, that was 20 seconds. And we're gonna lean forward again. Make sure you keep your hips straight. 20 seconds now. Your front knee do not pass so much forward. So keep him approximately above your foot. All right, that was 20 seconds. And again, keep forward, lean forward and 20 seconds now. Make sure you feel the stretch somewhere here. Keep his facing forward. Shoulders can be back and down. So all I can use your hands for support. All right, we're done with the left. Let's move with the right. Same thing, step back, keep facing forward and lean forward 20 seconds now. Core muscle engage, natural spine. That's it. All right, that was 20 seconds, few seconds break. And lean forward again, you have 20 seconds now. Just maintain your hip facing forward, the stretch you're gonna feel in your flexors. Keep your spine in natural position, shoulders back and down, and knees slightly bent on your right leg. All right. Two seconds break and let's it move forward again 20 seconds now natural spining and core muscle engage feel the stretch when you flex knee slightly bent foot is straight it's not out or in that was 20 seconds and we are done Okay, let's get ready for exercise number four, calf raises. Let's get in the correct position. Stand on the front of the wall, one foot away, feet facing forward with shoulder apart. Natural spine, core muscle engage. Bring your hands on the wall and now you're ready. We will do three sets, 10 reps each. Okay, let's do the calf raises. Get yourself in position. Place your hands on the wall. Before going to do your calf rises, make, make sure your heel is going straight up. It's not going out nor in. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was 10. A few seconds break. 
Okay, I'm going again. 10. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, heel straight. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's get a couple of seconds break. And again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and we are done okay let's get ready for XC number five assist squat using a chair let's position ourselves correctly you can stand on the front of the chair place your feet shoulder width apart natural spine core muscle engage the back of your legs almost gently touching the front of the chair next you're gonna Slowly sit down while maintaining the most of the body weight on the back of your foot. All right. All right, now you have a small space between your knee and the front of the chair. Shoulders back and down, natural spine in, and core muscle engage. And now we are ready. We will do two sets, 10 reps each. Okay, let's do the assisted squat in the chair. Stand on the front of the chair, back of your legs almost touching the chair. When you're standing or sitting, make sure the most of the body weight is going to be on your heels and the upper body, keep them straight as much as you can. So here's how it's going to look like. So when your arm is going to be beside, slowly lower yourself. And once you sit, and again, you're going to slightly lean forward, pushing over the heels and you up. And let's start it. Right down and up. That's one. That's two. That's three. Keep your core muscle engaged, natural spine. That's four. That's five. When you're going down or up, make sure your knee doesn't buckle in. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep your arms beside the body. Nine. Ten. Let's take a few seconds break. And we're gonna do it again. As I say, make sure natural spine, core muscle, engage, and shoulders back and down. And we're going again for 10. Slowly sit down. And up. That's one. That's two. That's three. When you're standing up, make sure the knee doesn't pass the toes. Four. Five, six, keep knees straight forward, seven, eight, nine, shoulders back and down, and ten. And we are done. Okay, let's get ready for exercise number six. Balance with feet aligned. Let's position ourselves correctly. Feet are shoulder width apart, neutral spine, core muscle engage. Bring your right foot in front of your left with some space between your feet. Align your inside line of your right foot with the outside line of your left foot. Keep your knees straight. Tilt your head and look at your palm but keep your back straight. Keep us facing forward. And now we are ready. We will do one set, one to three minutes long. Okay, let's do the balance with feet aligned. Let's position ourselves correctly. Feet the shoulder width apart. Bring your right foot in front. Align your both feet. Look at your hand. Keep your back straight. And now what we have to do is we're going to move 
all of them across but just to show you how it's, uh, how it's going to look it's like you have to the movement of your hand is going to be come across to the right side and back that's the movement of your left palm but without supporting yourself so much and you're going to go on much slower pace if you cannot follow me I stop the video and do a new own pace it should take you between one and three minutes okay let's start Look at your palm and slowly, slowly start rising your palm up. And you're following your palm with your head and your eyes together. If you're moving too fast, slow down with your hand, stabilize yourself, and then again. The most difficult part is going to be above, above your head when the palm is coming above your head. If you need some slightly balance for support, you can, you know. Hold in the wall till you stabilize yourself and then move again. Your feet is gonna moving a lot. Just make sure your body is in the center. Shoulders back and down as much as you can. Follow your palm with your head and your eyes. Once you reach, then, then it started moving back. Keep your left hand and arm straight as much as you can. Make sure your hand is going above your head. You can tilt your head back as you're looking up on your palm. And slowly stop if you need. And slowly moving down. Just keep following your palm. All the way down to the starting position. Okay, now we're done with this one. Let's switch our legs. Step with your left to the side. Bring your left foot in front to the right. Align them. Make sure that you align them. Look at the right palm. Shoulders back and down, core engage, and we're going up again. Let's maintain the balance. As I say, if you need support, use your left hand for balance, for support. Now your hand is almost above your head. Go slow if you need to stop. Stop. And again. If you see that you're losing control, stop with your hand. Where are you? In the air. Alright, right hand almost reach your left hip. And then you're going to move back again. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time. This one really takes time. Make sure your hand is above you. Okay, above your head. Core is engaged. Keep your back straight. And then we're done. Okay, let's get ready for exercise number seven. Double pressure on both feet. For this exercise, you're gonna need paper A4 format. You're gonna fold it by the long side of the paper, approximately one to two inches. As well, you can use a tape. All right, let's tape it down on the floor. At this paper, we're gonna use for a reference point. Place your feet beside the paper. Place them parallel with the paper. Natural spine, 
for muscle engage, shoulders back and down. Next, step up with your right foot straight forward. Make sure the inside part of your right foot is aligned with the outside part of the paper. Raise your heels off the floor, slightly bend your toes. Your knee is above your heel. The left foot, bend your knee, bring your heels off the floor, toes bend. You can use your hand for support with this exercise. Okay, now we are ready. We will do two sets and 20 reps. Okay, now we're going to do the exercise, tall wall pressure on both feet. If you have your paper, just place them down on the floor and tape it. So you can use as a reference point. Next, place align your feet with the paper. Now your spine, core muscle engaged. Step with your right foot forward, heels of the floor, toes up, and knee is above your heel. Same things with your left. So the movement of this exercise is going to be you're gonna shift your weight of your body from left foot to the right foot. So this is how it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna shift them back. Okay, we're going for 20 times. Make sure that you support yourself on the wall or chair. And we're going 20. One, two, three. Your supporting foot, keep it straight forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A few seconds break. Uh, just make sure when you're moving your weight of your body back and forth, your feet doesn't collapse and heels doesn't touch the ground. So all the time the heels is up and facing forward. So it's not turned in, make sure that they're facing forward. All right, we're going for 20 seconds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We are done with the right. Now we're gonna switch legs. Left is gonna step straight forward. Heels of the floor, toes up. Same things with the right. All right, and we're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. A few seconds break. You can bring your heel down. Just make sure that your feet is aligned with the paper. Just check before you do it again. And again, both heels up and shift the weight forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and we are done Okay, let's get ready for exercise number eight, front plank on your knees. Let's position ourselves correctly. Get down on your knees and 
and hands. Knee is right under your hip, hands under your shoulders. Natural spine, core muscle engage. Bring your right hand slightly forward and as well your left one. Don't sink your head, not any sort of straight, level with the back. And now we are ready. We will do two sets, 10 seconds each. Okay, let's do the front planks on your knee. Get yourself down on the floor. Hip is gonna be above your knee, hands under the shoulder, hands is going forward. Don't sink your head, engage your core muscle, natural spine. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward and bend your knee, so you're gonna bring your feet up. And now we are ready. 10 seconds, now. All right, that was 10 seconds, few seconds break. Just, and you're gonna lean forward, but before you're leaning, engage your core muscle. And don't think you had 10 seconds, now. Make sure that you don't over sink your lower back, keep them slightly up. And we're done. Okay, let's get ready for exercise number nine. Foam rolling on your legs. The purpose for this exercise is to relax the muscles of your legs. The slower you go, the better it's going to be. Okay, let's do it. Sit down on the floor. Place your foam roller under your knee. Both legs facing forward and they are parallel. For support, you're gonna bring your hands behind you, shoulders back and down. Try to keep your core muscle engaged and natural spine. Next, you're gonna lift the hip of the floor and you're gonna pull in yourself back. Go slow. And once you reach to one point, stop. Again, place your hands behind and lift. Just go slowly and you're gonna Feel some pressure on your cuffs. Maybe be a little bit painful. If we go a little lighter, just stop. Lift them a little bit off the foam roller, and again. Once you reach the end, come a little forward with your hands, and again, gently moving forward. Just go slow. Make sure you don't collapse so much with your shoulders. Try to keep them back and down. Keep your core engaged, and again, just leaning forward. All right, once you reach under your knee, and you're gonna, you're gonna place your hands forward. Now we're gonna go to the hamstring. Just keep moving forward. All right, once you stretch, again, hands forward. And reach this point. Now we're gonna move back. Okay, that was the hamstring. Now we're gonna we're going to do for your glutes. So you're gonna bring your foam roller close to the thigh. So I'm gonna move a little bit more back. So here we are. Again, just lift yourself, lean forward. Now we're gonna first do the left. Slightly lean to the left. You can support yourself with the right leg. It's just gently moving forward and slow. I'm gonna feel pressure under your left hip keep going so almost you're gonna reach the end of the left glute then moving back all right now we're gonna move to the right just bring the tension bring the weight on the right hip and gently moving forward you can support yourself with your hands and your legs. Okay, once you reach the end, almost feel more like the roller is touching the bone. Moving back slowly. Okay, that was done with the glutes. Now we're going to do the quadrides. So, 
You can lay down on your belly. Next, turn to the left side. Bring the foam roller right under your hip. So it's gonna be in the side. Next, engage your core muscle, lift your hip parallel with the floor and use the elbow for support and slowly moving forward. The foam roller is going to roll on only on your left quadricep. Just keep rolling forward slowly. A bit more. Almost to the kneecap. And then you're gonna move slowly back. For the pressure, you can support with the right leg. If you wanna be have to have more pressure, just leave the uh, left knee of the floor. All right, that was the left. Now we're gonna do with the right. Pull up to the side. And as you can see, it's going right under your right hip. Again, use your elbow for support and the left leg. Slowly moving forward by placing your elbow forward and pulling yourself. Don't sink your lower back all the way down. Keep it high or muscle engage. Again, you reach the kneecap, moving back. We are done and remember the slower you rolling the better is going to be with your muscle and we are done and we are done for today and i will see you tomorrow